Hey, YouTube, what are you doing in my bedroom? Hey, well, why I got you here, uh, you should watch this segment that's coming up on the Drunk Sports Podcast. It's pretty funny. You'll enjoy it. We're going around the sports. We're going to talk some NBA, NHL playoffs, uh, some chick drama going on over at ESPN. Pretty entertaining stuff. Make sure you check out the Drunk Sports Podcast. You can come watch us live if you want every Wednesday at Tailgaters in Plano on Ohio Drive. We'd love to have you there live. If not, just go ahead and check out our podcast. You can do the audio podcast on your favorite podcast app. Or if you like videos like this one, you can check it out on YouTube. Subscribe. Like. Share. Do all that stuff. By the way, this episode brought to you by MySleepSheets.com. For the right amount of melatonin, don't take a pill. Take a sheet mysleepsheets.com now check out this funny clip for me and colby and lance in the drunk sports podcast this drama contains adult language and partial nudity viewer discretion is advised hey you're listening to the drunk sports podcast talking sports current events guy stuff and everything in between now open up a cold one and drink along because here they are you can buy me a drink <laughs> We're all drunk. Hello, 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 and welcome, 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 drunk dudes and dolls, and drunk sports pod turds, and kangaroo girl, uh-huh. to this episode of the Drunk Sports Podcast. We, just, am, we just found out it was Tootsie. Tootsie. The, the, the kangaroo girl. So. Tootsie, the kangaroo girl, joins us here. Don't call her Granny, or Grammy, or Meemaw. Or any of those. I am noted local radio and television personality, IndyCar Tim, and I'm joined as I usually am. I don't say always anymore because usually am. From the great white north, my favorite partner in the whole world. I'm still your man, Big Red. Big Red. Big Red. Give it to me, Lance. Give it to me, Lance. Push, push. Give it to me, Lance. Kiss off, Tim. Absolutely. And of course, to my right, live from the table here at Telgators in Plano, as he is always Wednesday. The magical, the mystical, Mr. Colby Sapp. Man, if you don't chew Big Red, then fuck you. <laughs> hey, whoa. Shots fired. Did you fart? I just thought there was room enough for that movie quote. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That, that's got me a little rattled. I don't really know what to do right now. <laughs> I jumped into a mosh pit with a guy in a full-blown chicken suit. And we'll all have that opportunity come December, and we will... Uh, man, I'd love for all of us to be wearing GoPros and go live. That'd all right. Be, that'd be great. Can you, can you Bluetooth a GoPro to an iPhone? I have no idea about iPhones, man. I don't wear a cashmere sweater around my neck or drive a Miata. What is cashmere? Huh? I feel like that's fake. Okay, I don't know. It's what it's what people that have it's iPhones wear. Song. I have an iPhone. I've never worn cashmere that no. I know of. You're probably Blood wearing some now. You just don't know. I'm it. wearing cashmere underwear, Big Red. How do you like that? Uh huh. That's gross. It's a little that's, itchy too. I'm not gonna lie. That's probably uh, solve world peace because you just have all the soldiers march around in cashmere underwear. They feel too good to want to fight anybody. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Welcome everybody. To this episode of the Drug Sports Podcast, we are live from Telgators as we are each and every Wednesday night, 8 o'clock sharp, or thereabouts. Right. Uh, Depending on how long it takes us to get out of the rough. Yes. We, man, we were in some rough earlier, too, by the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, mm-hmm. Come on out to Telgators. We're here till 10 o'clock. Have some drinks with us. Do some shots with us. Uh, have some 65-cent wings. That is bone in <clears throat> and bone out. And they are delicious wings, by the way. Yes, they are. We've got sports on the TVs. We're watching the Dodgers, one up on the uh, Miami, don't call us, Florida Marlins. We've got some Stanley Cup finals. We've got the 49ers visiting the Seahawks for some reason. Hey, man, football. We've got the Dallas Wings visiting the Minnesota women's basketball team franchise that I don't know what they're called. Oh, the Lynx, right? Uh, I mean, sure, your Lynx. guess is as good as Minnesota mine. Minnesota Lynx. Uh, we've got all sorts of sports going on. We got some dudes and chicks over there shooting pool here live. Come on and hang out with us. Uh, we're doing some good things here for some good people, Colby. Man, just come out here and just cheer that. on the people shooting pool. I'm sure they'd enjoy it. They need all the cheer sections they can get right now because it does not look like it is going well. But 
Sink we've, that ball. Sink we've, that ball. We've got content, Colby <laughs> and Lance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's going to be a long night. <laughs> I will wear you out. You just need some attention from me. I've used both of those pickup lines tonight, and neither have worked out in my favor. You don't say. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Surprise. <laughs> You just Shocking. need some attention from me. When was the last time you had a pickup line work? Um, I do. Uh, Sunday at the lake. Which when I, when I swam up, because we were tied up with about 15 other boats, and I swam, I saw this chick in the water on their little lily pad, and I swam over from my lily pad, snuck up behind her, pinched her on the ass, That's and, I gave, and I gave her my standard pickup line that I've been using since 1986. And I am 1,028 for 1,028. I can see how it could be dangerous for you right now. But really, if the government trusts me, maybe you could. (laughs) Works every time. Does it? I don't see it working. Well, I haven't used it yet tonight. Okay, all right. We'll see how that, maybe during the commercial break. Uh We'll try that out. We've got lots (laughs) of fun stuff to talk about here on the show. We're going to go around the sports, talk about all of the... Playoffs happening, some Mavs news. Boys, there is some ESPN chick drama happening right now. Yes, there Uh-oh. is. We need to get into some streaker talk. Okay. And we need to discuss the fact that Grace doesn't have internet at her house, and this bothers me. We're going to discuss that. What? Uh, as we go around the sports, as I used to have an open for that. Somewhere. So someone. And now it's time got rid for of it. Around the Sports on the Drunk Sports Podcast. Brought to you by your mom. Hi, mom. We really should get a sponsor for that that's not your mom. Yeah, th- that'd be great. I mean, we do, I mean, we instead of just throw it. We, I mean, we throw sheets on it. Just throw some sheets on it. Colby, don't take a pill. Take a sheet. There you go. MySleepSheets.com. Thank you, MySleepSheets. By the way, we have all the sleep sheets paraphernalia. Oh, is it paraphernalia? I mean, sure. Do Don't you do you drugs it? with it? <laughs> sleep sheets paraphernalia. <laughs> there you go. Uh, wait, what's it called? Swag. Swag? Yeah, you can use swag. swag. We're the right color to say that word. You're, yeah, I right? mean, yeah, you can. No, what's the word I'm looking for? Not paraphernalia. Merch? Are you looking for merch? merch. I thought there was a P word. Huh? Perch? P word? That's a fish. Perch? Whatever, we have hats, okay? That's uh-huh. really where I was going with this. Come get you a hat. We got them on sale here at uh, Tailgaters. How much are they? Seventy four ninety nine each? No. We got to get money back somehow. I mean, so... Seventy five ninety nine. buy three, get two free. That's right. Huh. That needs to be more than that then. Uh, no. But anyway, we got it here live at Tailgaters. You guys come get you some merch, swag, paraphernalia. Nah. For uh, MySleepSheets.com. Um, so, boys, the NHL playoffs, probably the last show we're going to talk about this because my Habs are just about dead. They staved off elimination the other night. Surprisingly, in overtime, I did not think it was going to happen. Right. They are being dominated, which I knew they would, by the Tampa Bay Lightning. Um, it's not looking good, Lance. It's not looking good, Colby. They should not have won that game four, but they escaped three to two. And they are completely overmatched in this this finals. Especially going into when they went into overtime and still had over two minutes remaining oh. in, uh, in, a, in a power that kill. In, in double a, minor. In a, yeah. Yeah, in a penalty kill. By the way, Colby, I, I, I don't know why this never occurred to me before. Why you should be rooting for Montreal. Why? Corey Perry. Don't you like Corey Perry? I mean, yeah, but he's wearing a Canadian but you don't wish him goodwill? I mean, sure. I hope he does great. I hope he does great. I don't want you Canada don't to win. Wins? Well, Canada owns the Stanley Cup. I don't know if you knew that or not. No, no, they don't. They haven't won it in how many years? Well, they invented it. Yeah, that's fine, but it's been in America. 1993, by the way, the Montreal Canadiens, the last team to win the Stanley Cup from Canada. Well, there you go. And the, let's keep that streak alive. It's not. I mean, we're going to because things aren't looking good. But Right. So our Tampa Bay wins that cup again. Yeah, with the, with the most, stick to my with most un-NHL team in the league, the Tampa Bay Lightning. I don't know, man. I think Florida is a more un-NHL team. <sighs> Miami. Come on. Arizona. Los Angeles. 
Yeah, but they, Dallas. In, in, in Arizona, they do that cool wolf yell. Oh. Er, oh, my God, that is the most annoying thing, especially when there's four people in the stadium. Uh. And this one guy that just won't let the wolf die. Just every once in a while, you hear this just uh, Arizona dude just go, Woo! Okay, wait, what, what's more annoying? That or when you're watching the Minnesota Vikings home game on TV and every time they make a first down, all you hear is... No, it's the wolf guy, because at least, at least the horn guy, it's, 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 it's something else other than this dude that's just had one too many uh, bush lights. Disgusting. Just throwing those things down. I hate the Vikings. I hate the lightning. Um, so, yes, things not looking good for my Montreal Canadiens, Colby and Lance. Every time just gives me diarrhea when you just start using your fake French <laughs> accent. Just <laughs> diarrhea. Les I, Montreal Canadiens, on m'appelle Timmy, toi. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Upset stomach right there. <laughs> <laughs> this portion of Around the Sports brought to you by Pepto-Bismol. Right. That's exactly what I was fixing to say. Um, NBA playoffs <laughs> moving on. Something I think it's going to be much like our Stanley Cup finals, Colby. I don't see any way Milwaukee matches up well against the Phoenix Suns. Chris Paul had a terrible first quarter, and then he turned it on the rest of the game for 32 points in game one. No, I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be something. Now, the, the, I don't think this is just going to be over in a sweep. I do believe that the Bucks will, will catch a few games. And it's all about trying to – because you have Chris Paul, who's, who's been in so many playoffs and lost. He knows how to lose them. Now he's, he's figuring out how to win them. And, and Giannis, this is a big stage. This is that next step that everybody wants him. And usually what happens is that somehow there's something that falters him. And let's be honest, uh, as, as the way these playoffs are going, I don't think either one of these teams actually are the best uh, team for their division and, no. and shouldn't be in the finals. I think both of them just got lucky with injuries, got lucky facing you know the teams that they did. I, I think that the Bucks shouldn't have made it past the Nets. I don't think that the, the Suns should have made it past the Lakers so or the Clippers, to so, be honest with so you. So who would you estimate were the two best teams? Let me give you mine first because you'll poo-poo on mine, then you can go off. Okay. Uh, I believe the Nets and the uh, Jazz were the best two teams in the league. Uh, not the Jazz. I will go with the Nets, but it was I. Lakers. I, I think it was. I think it was either it was one of the L A teams. I really do. I, I. If you were to end up with some kind of final situ or you know conference final situation where it's L A versus L A, I don't know if that bracket would have worked out. I'm not staring at it, but. If that would have happened, that that's 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 your that's your Western Conference Finals right there. Whenever about, it happens in the game. What about you, Lance? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'd probably agree with uh, with Kobe, but not 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 the Lakers. I it just I, I, I can even if they were the best, I wouldn't say it was the Lakers. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, just because I can't. How hot is Aaron Andrews, by the way? I mean, uh, LeBron. LeBron just bitches about too much shit. For me to say that they're the best. I hate LeBron. Uh, so yeah, so <laughs> the Kings are the, are the uh, and and uh, and the Nets probably. But uh, that that series with uh, the Nets and and the Bucks that was I watched that uh, I watched that final game and it was it, it, it's a great game. It was a great <laughs> game. Yeah. But it took, I mean, it, it took some injuries. It took a, a, quite a few injuries in order for that to be a great game, I thought. Well, whenever Durant hit that shot from absolutely, you know, right on the line. And, right. And it just that, that, that killed him. And he couldn't believe he was on the line. But, I mean, he, he was. He, he had both feet on the damn line. So that's what happens. And then he ran out of juice. So Milwaukee yep. uh, down one to Phoenix. Went and, his, went and got his hug from his mom and got consoled right there in front of God and everybody. Uh-huh. I know. Man. I know. Giannis played in Game One, but he's not a hundred percent. No, he's not. Do you think he's hurting his team by playing, or is a sixty percent Giannis better than anybody else they can put out there? It's a sixty percent Giannis is better than anybody else that they have on the bench in order to replace him. The, the only thing that you're going to be able to get out of this is because of how spaced out these finals will be. Right. He does have a chance to recover more. I, I do think that the games will be closer. There was a, an actual prop bet that you could bet that people said that the, the, the games wouldn't be 
if Giannis plays, there there would be a three point differential every single game. That's as max as it would get on, wow. on the on the final score. And of course, him stepping in, still injured, that that was thrown out the window. But the fact that that there's fe- people in Vegas that think it's that close, I do don't think that this thing is over by any chance uh, or means. Okay, Suns. Well, let's say Suns win game two. Still not decided it, in your mind. It's not. It's it'll it'll take a, it'll take the Suns to get three before right. I go. All right, the Bucks have no chance of, of making this into a proper series. I mean, I'm no NBA expert, as anyone on this show and that listens to this show can clearly tell. But uh, uh-huh. to me, it just looked like the Bucks were playing a little uninspired basketball in Game One. Well, and, and it, it takes no expert to to say this, but it, I mean. The longer it goes, the better chance the Bucks have, because the healthier Giannis gets. Right. And once once he gets any form of healthy, they've they've got a shot. Don't they have I mean, three games between games one and two, or three days between games one and two? There's like, something there's like that. Stretch. It's sparsed out. Yeah. Gay. Sparsed. Spaced. Sparsed? I wasn't gonna say anything. I mean, I did. It's all about TV. It's all about money. <laughs> I guess so, man. But what are they not? They don't want the NBA to go up against Matlock or something. Uh, you know, Matlock's killer, or, man. Or uh, murder, she wrote. Man, you need to watch more TV that's current. <laughs> are those not still on? I mean, they, probably, probably on, on TV Land or something. <laughs> By the channel way, speaking 27. of yeah, Channel Twenty Seven's got all of them on every day. Uh, speaking of TV shows, boys. A little bit later in the show, we're getting into some bracketology. Uh-huh, we're uh-huh. doing the uh, one through six seating of the Marvel, one through sixteen seatings of the Marvel movies, as seated by Colby. Right, Big Red. So get ready for that in your Big Red Marvel brain. However, mm. I have four other brackets related to TV shows we're going to get into in the upcoming weeks. Mm. Can't for wait for TV show theme songs. Oh, man. And they are to God. They're broken out. I don't remember exactly what they were, but I've got, like, drama series in one complete bracket. I've got comedies in one bracket. Like, whatever. I've got four different, like, divisions of each of Well, each, there's uh, one division show, that's so. going to be really tough if you did it right. And if you did it wrong, I'll let one, you know. One's cartoons. Okay. I don't remember what the other, the other ones are actually named. Comedy, then drama, then there's another one. I don't remember what it was, you, but it's there. There's there's action series in there. Maybe that was drama and action or something like that, maybe. All right, because Knight Rider going up against Airwolf is going to be something intense. Oh, and I didn't do the seedings on these. These are preceded. Oh, God. Preceded. I hate everything. Just make sure you have sound drops for, for all the uh, all the theme songs. Uh, oh, man, that's a lot of work. It is. You well, should probably I, start on it I now. Better stay. Okay, I'm going to take a break. We're going to start on that right now. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so NBA Finals going on. Nobody's watching because it's Phoenix and Milwaukee. I mean, the ratings are still pretty damn good. Are they? Yeah. I haven't seen them, but... I mean, they, they, as far as the overall ratings for the NBA playoffs, they're through the roof. They're through the roof. That's crazy. I don't understand that. I don't know. I don't understand who people watches like the NBA. basketball. I, why? Huh? Why? Because why watch basketball when there's hockey roof. and the Tour de France? Oh yeah, the God again with the diarrhea. <laughs> <sighs> By the way, we are live at Tonga Tars in Plano. I swear, I'm going to sweep the legs out from your chair and put my <laughs> knee right into your mini Tim. I don't have insurance. Don't do that. Have you wearing your testicles like they were earrings? Dallas wouldn't be the first time. Dallas Mavericks news and rumors. <laughs> Not a lot going on because it's all happened already. But um, in the rumor mill, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard rumored to Dallas. Nice. Um, which would you rather have, boys? Paul George or Kawhi Leonard, if you had your pick. If I had my, I, 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 I like PG thirteen as is a that, dude. Is that a serious question? But so I, how, wait, 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 wait. How badass would it be? Do you them both? If well, right. yeah, no. If we had Paul George for the Mavericks, PG thirteen, and Nelson Cruz came back to the Rangers and he was NC seventeen. We had PG-13 and NC-17 here at the same time. Right, and then, and then have Edge be at, like, the Sportatorium. We could have the Rated R Superstar there at the same night. <laughs> Dude, we would Dallas would rule. That would be great. No, we just got to do is have my friend G show up. <laughs> <laughs> we're, 
We're good to go. Or we could just wear G strings while we do the show. Man, I I, I do not wear banana hammocks. I am sorry. That's not a thing. I don't. Mm-mm, no. Uh, not going to happen. Oh, yeah. Me, me neither. Me neither. I've never done that before. R- right. Now, as yeah. far as as far as who I would want is it, it, the person and in the locker room, it's 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 Paul George. It's PG thirteen. Really over Kawhi Leonard. The, on the court next to Luca, it's 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 Claw. Let's go. Right. Because uh, I I know there's been people that have put out there for the Dallas Mavericks and they, and they're like, man, Kawhi Leonard and Luca just wouldn't job together. Duh, duh, duh. They don't match up basketball styles. I'm sorry. You go look at their stats, and every little stat that, that Luca is poor at, Kawhi is great at. And every little area that, that, that they complement each other so much. You've got one really good defender that, that also can create his own shot. And then you have Luca throwing him the ball. Yeah. Holy crap. Hold on to your butt. Now, this, this would be what we thought we were getting when we grabbed the unicorn and found out that the actual rainbows don't fall out of his ass. It's just injuries. <laughs> injuries. Fall. His knees fall out of his ass. Right, which is a very bad medical syndrome <laughs> to have. Yeah, that's yeah. a bad medical condition, yeah. Yeah, when, when you're literally shitting your own knees. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what happens in, in the upcoming weeks because apparently we've got – Speaking of unicorns, we have a unicorn of a front office and coaching staff now. Yeah, we do. So we'll see if that pans out into into uh, draft picks and into free agents because that's never happened before here, here in Dallas. So excitement on the horizon possibly for the Mavericks. And Matt, as, if you pull this off and somehow and you end up still holding on to the, the unicorn and he can come off the bench. Porzingis. You, you end up... With that guy coming off the bench with PG-13 and, and Kawhi Leonard out there. in the Oh, dear sweet Jesus, forget the, the one championship. We're going for them all. Why not? Dude, then we can have Stars, Mavericks, Cowboys, and Rangers all winning in the same year. When are the Rangers no, no. ever going to win? Two ye- we're two years away, Colby. Are we? It's what Chris Young and John Daniels are telling us. Oh, okay, good. Because I swear to God, I am with Corey Majors. If they don't pull one of these pitchers out of this draft, I am going to announce that they have no intention. Yeah. No intention of ever winning baseball ever again. If they grab that shortstop or whoever that's, that's no, that's not ready to play, are readier to play like these two pitchers that are out there. I will. I, I might go find me a different baseball team. Don't hold your breath, Colby. Don't hold your baseball breath. I walk in here with a giant P on my hat because I'm representing the Phillies for some damn reason. It'll be why, because the Rangers finally made me fed up. Jason Starkey d- decides that he has a sports voice on our show and says Suns in five, maybe. You can't make a prediction that Suns in five, maybe six. Right. Or, or maybe seven. Hey, we, we, have a qu- we have a question. We have a question. Uh. Dark Sage, 9117. We uh, have a question for this panel. All right, Dark Shoot. Sage. What is your question? What's your question? Do we have a question? I mean, are we going to sit and wait for it? I don't know. I thought Lance already had it pulled up. I, I, there, there, well, there's not. I mean, but he has one, so we're oh. waiting. Well, congratulations. Everyone's got questions. I've got questions. Sometimes yeah. I wonder where I got to where I am when I you wake up in the morning and what, what her name is. Those are my big questions. So, boys, we yeah. have uh, some chick drama within the ESPN family. Oh, yeah. We got a lot of drama within the ESPN Lots family. Lots of drama in the ESPN chick family. By the way, we will go back to your question, Sage, if you end up uh, actually putting that in the comments. And Oh, yeah, we'd love to address it if yeah. it ever shows up on our airwaves. Uh, Malika Andrews uh-huh. will now be working the 2021 NBA Finals as a sideline reporter for ESPN. The network announced Andrews would replace Rachel Nichols, or as some people call her, Rachel Nichols. No, they don't. As it's si- in France, they do. Nobody calls uh-uh. her that. As it's sideline reporter amid reports of internal strife, Colby and Lance, following a leaked video in which Nichols questioned Maria Taylor's credentials. So there's a couple of things. First of all, you know who uh, leaked the video. It wasn't Rachel Nichols, so it had to be the other person in this equation because that's the only people that would really want to see this out there, right? So... 
there, there, there's, I, I couldn't, A, it, what, you know that there's going to be people that are like, hey, you know what? She's taking some of my gigs. This is why. And so there was some racial content in what she was saying, but was. it was from a, from a perspective of this is what I believe you guys are doing. And so the, on the other hand, uh, Homegirl's better than Rachel Nichols. So as the story goes here, um, the network made the announcement Tuesday, hours before the Milwaukee Bucks took on the Phoenix Suns for game one of the finals. ESPN said the change was the best decision for all concerned. The move comes days after a bombshell report from the New York Times in which Nichols said ESPN was pushing Taylor only due to the network's crappy long-time record of diversity. Right. Those comments reportedly caused strife within the network, particularly among those involved with ESPN's NBA coverage. According to the New York Times, Nichols made these comments in July 2020 after ESPN told her that Taylor, who is black, would be hosting coverage of the NBA Finals instead of her. Nichols sought advice from... Now, explain to me why this guy's involved. Okay. Nichols sought advice from Le- LeBron James's longtime advisor, Adam oh, Mendelson, oh, yeah. on a call that was reportedly accidentally recorded because Nichols hadn't turned off her camera. Nothing is ever accidentally recorded. Oh, I think this was. Especially, uh, it might be. But on the other side of it, of course you go to the person that has a link to basically your NBA commissioner because that is what LeBron James yeah, is. I guess. Yeah, well, that's true. <clears throat> it's a Why player's the NBA league, sucks. so your, your, your top players are, are in control. And, I mean, and by the way, I've said it before and I'll say it again. All the rest of the sports are heading that same direction no. because, yes, they are. Not football. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely not hockey. No, hockey. Hockey will be actually be third. Baseball will be last because baseball. Yeah, it's just got a really old school mentality, and hockey's right we've, there. We've had this conversation before. The NFLPA is not smart enough to make it a players league. You start. You start having. You start having enough of these quarterbacks being able to switch teams on. Uh, it started. <laughs> Now, if they actually pull this off where the quarterback's like, I'm tired of being here, I'm tired of being with these people, I know I'm under contract, but get me out of here, and it starts to actually happen, then that's going to lead to you know players having control over where they go in the NFL. And if that happens because of the pub- publicity, because of the public eye, that the players will be in control right. because your owners and everything are, are, are in the public eye, but not as much as the players. Uh, so. so if you guys ever wonder how things like this get out into the public, here's how this happened. The New York Times reported that the call was recorded and stored. So she's in her office, and she has a camera because she does the reports from home and you know records them, and right. then they get piped into the servers up in Bristol. So this got out because this call got recorded on her camera, stored on one of ESPN's servers for the last year, which numerous employees have access to. One employee recorded it, in the, with, they found it and recorded it with their cell phone. That's why the quality was so crappy that we heard. Mm-hmm. And then sent it to others within the company who then sent it to even more employees. So they told two friends, and they told two friends, right. and they told two friends. The call was eventually leaked to Deadspin and the Times. Thus far, that employee is the only one to be disciplined over the incident. So the person that stole the audio was the one that was disciplined. As Nichols said to the Times that ESPN told her that the content of the conversation did not warrant any discipline on her part. No, the only thing that happened was it got released, then it got reported, and then um, then everybody else starts jumping on things. By the way, it was so bad between the two that Rachel Nichols' little uh, comments during the, uh, the, uh, the broadcast were recorded. They would throw it yeah. to a pre-recorded thing yeah. because those two couldn't actually handle talking to each other. So this came out on Monday. Her, uh, so she still hosts that daily NBA jump over on ESPN. Right. Which I've never seen. Nor, I mean, um, people have, but Tuesday's, I have not. Tuesday's episode was canceled, so it was not on. Wednesday, she opened the show with an apology that was literally about 15 words. Uh-huh. Like, hey, I'm really sorry this got out. You know, I said something very unfortunate. Of course, I have the utmost, of course, I'm not quoting here. I have the utmost respect in Maria Taylor and her abilities. Uh, for ESPN and our family, and I wish, wish both of us, you know, continued success, or as Ben would say, continued sex uh-huh. within ESPN. Um, and that was it, which 
she got a lot of backlash for it didn't sound very heartfelt but to me like if you're going to apologize just do it just do it quick sweet say your words not some prepared press release and then be done with it oh yeah no it's the proper way to do it but people are expecting the long lawyered out uh, oh, no. words to a uh, filler they it's almost like the english teacher looking over an essay or something to where it's like i need i need more information no, no, no. No, it's just, I'm sorry. I said some stuff. I respect that lady. Yes, it was It was just in the moment because people were, because she was taking some of my gigs and I was upset and I was trying to find a way to get my gigs back. That's all. That's it. That's it. Done. Completely get it. Basically, she supports diversity unless it negatively affects her. Right. Is what she said. Which is most people. Yeah, me, me too. I mean, wait. If you start, what, I respect. I respect everything that goes on till it starts taking food off my table. <laughs> Once it starts doing that, I'm going to start looking around, going, "Hey, wait. Maybe we should think about at least this small part of it." Because I like pork chops. <laughs> pork chops. Man, pork chops are good. I like fried pork.